All right, hey there, viewers. So I just got back from a you know, weekend of camping and, uh, you know, just putting stuff away. But one thing I want to show you, um, I got a new air compressor. So if any of you are looking for a, you know, air compressor to keep in your car and in case of an emergency, because uh, it definitely helped me because, you know, sometimes people like to burn uh, pallets, you know, and pallets have nails in it and uh, got a nail. So I had to shove a plug in there and fill it up. So, I always keep a little, you know, emergency kit, you know, just to plug up my tire, emergency plugs, um, jumper battery, and jumper cables, just in case that battery's dead, and, uh, you know, tire plugs, and uh, vulcanizing compound, fast dry vulcanizing, just, just for lube to shove the plug in, and yeah, that's what I keep in my truck, but... I was uh, pretty uh, impressed by this uh, compressor, and it's got some weight to it, too. And it's pretty heavy. But it was pretty quick in filling it up, or filling up my tire. So uh, let me grab this out first. So yeah, this is the, uh, this is the compressor. It's, uh, it's got some weight to it. This thing's a beast. It's pretty heavy. And uh, yeah, the box says it's good for 37-inch tires, right? But you know, I'm, I'm only running 33, so it's it's probably more than enough than uh, than what I need. And uh, yeah, so if anybody's looking for a compressor to keep in their car for you know emergencies and or you have a flat, uh, maybe look into it. I think I only got this for like around 200 bucks uh, when it was on sale, so 200 bucks Canadian. And yeah, I think it's a <laughs> a lot better than my little Canadian tired one, <laughs> and a lot faster because I was. When I was airing up, I was I was a tire ahead of everybody else. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna completely deflate this tire here, and then uh, run the compressor and see how long it takes to uh, get it to from from completely empty and see how long it takes. All right, so I'm just gonna use my airing down tool. Uh, this just threads onto the valve, and uh, it just removes the uh, core. And then when I'm done with it, I just push the core back in and then it, uh, you know, tighten it up. So this is how it works. It also has a gauge on it. So, you know, just to know when, uh, when you're at like 20 PSI, or whatever you're running to, uh, run on the trails. That's all it does. And I'll wait, wait till it uh, completes the plate. All right, just about almost completely deflated. All right, still, still a little bit of air in there left. I'll wait till it completely stops and then thread the, uh, yeah, thread this thing back in or the valve core. Once that's in, I can take it out. All right, so I have the tire valve hooked up to my compressor. Uh, it does have a gauge on it, and uh, there's a trigger on the back to release air uh, in case you go over. Uh, that way you can adjust it. But uh, the only thing I complain, I have a complaint about, is it doesn't have like a little trigger, so I can just like stop it. And uh, when the compressor is running, it actually just the needle just stays at a fixed PSI on the gauge. And yeah, I have to keep shutting, uh, running back and shutting it off and then checking tire pressure, see if it's good. And then, you know, back and forth kind of thing, right? So yeah, that's the only complaint I have. So anyways, I got a stop, got myself a stopwatch and I'm gonna hook it up to the battery. So this this battery is just what I use to run my diesel heater uh, you know in, in the nighttime or when it gets when it gets dark um <clears throat> it gets pretty cold and with that diesel heater i can literally sleep in my underwear in my tent all right so i'm going to start it and uh yeah you can check it out <laughs> All right, so I paused it at three minutes. Um, the pressure it's at is around 
32 psi uh, for you who are using it for like you know regular passenger passenger tires and not big truck tires uh, it's probably gonna be a lot quicker than three minutes and uh, that's probably all you need but you know it's with the bigger tire, it's just it's gonna take a lot longer to fill. Um, other things that I'm gonna probably use this compressor for is um, uh, my extra extra fuel. Uh, this is a gravity feed, so it's I don't want to lift it rather than put you know 10 psi into it and then uh, yeah let the pressure do its work. I just put a tire valve on the uh, the vent and uh, yeah I just use the compressor, put 10 psi in there, and then it just flows fuel in there. Uh, other things that I use for uh, use with the air compressor is, uh, let me try and squeeze back here. It's still pretty dusty. <laughs> is my uh, shower slash dishwasher that I just bungee, or not bungee cord, but I zap, zap strap. I also put a tire valve on this thing and put, put about 10 PSI and you got running water for your shower and washing your dishes. So yeah. Yeah, the truck's still pretty dusty. I'm just waiting for a rainy day and then just park it outside. Let let nature do its thing, right? So, so yeah, I guess that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And uh, I'll let you know if anything happens with this compressor. <laughs>